Well, here it is. The monsters that have fracked Australia's gas and electricity system. The monsters that are sucking up all the gas. I'm at Gladstone Harbour in Queensland where massive multinational oil companies have built three huge export LNG terminals to ship East Coast gas to Asia. Fracking for coal seam gas has been pushed down the throats of Australian farmers and communities to feed these export terminals. These terminals have tripled demand for gas on the East Coast and led to a monumental failure in the domestic gas market. I raised this four years ago. The liquid natural gas export terminals being built at Gladstone will act as giant vacuum cleaners sucking up all the gas they can find to sell at high prices. Australia is the only country that exports gas without imposing some sort of national interest test or a domestic gas reserve. And now we have the crazy situation where Australian consumers, businesses, manufacturers and power stations are paying through the nose and often they're paying more than we sell it for overseas. Things are so crazy, things are so upside down that there's now a proposal being considered to build a gas import facility in Newcastle to bring in gas from America and Western Australia. Back in 2009, they knew what would happen. They would suck up all the gas, they would drive up prices. They considered a domestic gas reserve, but did they do it? No. What did they do? Nothing. So who benefits? Well, not Australia. The winners are big oil. ConocoPhillips, Santos, Shell, PetroChina, Cogas, Sinopec, Origin, Chinese Offshore Oil Corporation, Petronas, British Gas. Big oil companies ripping Australia off. Now gas is actually being sucked out of Victoria and the Sydney markets to feed these Queensland export facilities. It's all us about. Santos bragged about it. Six years ago, they told the stock market these facilities would drive up prices, drive up profits. It was all part of their cunning plan to do us in. For the money that's been spent and wasted on these export LNG terminals, we could have built a world-class MBN of fibre to the home. We could have high-speed rail, and most importantly, we could have transformed our energy sector into clean, green, renewable energy. I'm calling this the biggest market failure and one of the biggest fuck-ups in the history of our country. What can be done? We should prioritise Australia. During heat waves or in the middle of winter, we need to turn off these terminals to put the Australian national interest first to guarantee supply. Australians aren't buying the bullshit. You cannot be one of the world's biggest exporters of gas and running short at the same time. So keep the gate locked to the dirty frackers who want to force their way into our communities, forests and farms. Lock the gate, no coal seam gas.